Today's episode of My Worst Date is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash date. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Cheers! But I was on the way to Disneyland with Amy and Emerson, and we decided that we should all go see Cats as a group. Oh, my God. Because I think it'll be hilarious. Okay? Hear me out. Let's have some drinks before we go. (laughs) A big group. Oh, it's going to be amazing. (laughs) That's what happened to me in Fifty Shades. Remember? Yes. There's no way you can fall asleep in Cats. (laughs) It is going to be such a spectacle. Come on. I fell asleep during... um, God, that Terminator movie with one of the dude faces in it, it was literally l- the loudest movie. Adam got so angry with me because I guess I had fallen asleep <laughs> within like the first five minutes. And he's like, how did you literally just take a $20 nap? Well, wow. <laughs> it was the like, loudest. Been fucking tired. Well, and <laughs> also like any of the new Terminator movies are like, shitty. Don't worry about how I spend my money. Exactly. Yeah, back mm. up. <laughs> <laughs> Better back up. You better put some respect on my name. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> okay, but you, okay. So I basically live at Disneyland now. Yeah, uh, you're always I've been jealous. three times in the last like three months. I think um, we need another girls trip. That was for sure the super best. fun. I know. Um, but we went to Galaxy's Edge. It was real cool. It nice. was really cool. It was so immersive. Like Disneyland, just they do such a good job of like theme. And they yeah, attention really to detail it. is like so impressive. And yeah, we went to the cantina. We had a good time. We did the new Millennium Falcon ga- uh, ride. Looks which was so cool. fucking cool. I mean, it was cool, but like... Was it smacked in the mouth? It didn't look too busy. It wasn't super busy. I mean, the cantina like sold out like immediately. Like Amy... Yeah got us reservations and then I went to get us reservations as well just in case we wanted to go like a different Different time time. or whatever and literally I tried to do it 10 minutes after she did it all of the slots were they were like no were full yeah they were like no no Um, they're like no show up on time yeah yeah oh Mm -hmm. and they are strict about that shit because we Mm -hmm. like got because line was long and getting to the cantina so we like got in line Mm -hmm. at like 11 because our reservation was for 11 15 and they ca- like came around they're like what time's your reservation we were like 11 15 they were like come back at 11 15 <laughs> get in line at 11 15 <laughs> oh damn but smugglers run was like i think it would be cool if you were the pilot or the co-pilot because it's interactive like they make you do shit Mm -hmm. like everyone has a different job and you have to like push buttons and switch switches and shit Mm -hmm. and so if you're not in the front you're not facing forward or like you're the stuff you have to do is off to the side okay so you can't like really enjoy what's happening in front of you and also the ride lasts longer if depending on like how good or bad your pilot is. Oh shit. And our pilot was this adorable little girl. Aww. She's so cute, but like couldn't reach some <gasps> of the buttons. <laughs> so she couldn't hit like all of the buttons. So Aww. like ours didn't last that long, but it was still fun. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. So there's my like, review. This isn't fair. <laughs> oh, the kid next to me was a little shit. Oh yeah. Because we did um we did single rider and this kid also did single rider. So he went with me and he wasn't part of the f- family that yeah. was in there with us. He, you Losing can hear it. it on my video. He was screaming the whole time. Push that button. She's he was yelling man. at me. I was like, sir, uh-huh. <laughs> first like an 11 year old boy. I was like, back up. Yeah. <laughs> you better put some respect on this thing. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Back up. <laughs> Taste this hand. <laughs> And then I talked mad shit about him when I got off and his parents were like behind me. I was oh. like, well, you should know your kid's shitty. Your kid. You got yeah. a shitty kid. <laughs> and, and the parents said nothing to you. Yeah, they're like, yeah. we know. We know. Yeah. We live with him every day. Why do you think we did single rider? We didn't want to be in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Hot take. Yikes. Disneyland brings out the truth. Oh, Ooh, oh doesn't I, it. I love For like. Real. 
I love the Disneyland day. Like, you know, because yeah. everyone gets there and they're like, it's magical. It's so beautiful. And everyone's having like a great time. And then you can like slowly see throughout the day as like parents and children Lose are it. getting more tired yep. yeah. and like hungry. overheated and like hangry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they just start fucking like yelling at each other. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. the most magical place on earth. <laughs> oh, but it's the best. To it's kill best. your family. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Well, what's going on? Huh, I'm about well, to leave to town. Go. Yeah. I yeah. am restless leg syndrome because I still don't have a job yet. So I am just fucking want to go run around the block 50 times because I don't know what to do with my hands. It I is the you. most boring thing in the world to not be working. Well, I, uh, speaking of restless leg syndrome, look like I was beaten about oh, the Jesus. legs. <laughs> oh, you Jesus. really do. You look like you were caned <laughs> yeah. exactly. in the shin. <laughs> no. <laughs> It is kind of date related because I I came over to hang out with Cassie last night. Just take a dip in the pool really quick before um, a date last night. And I was like, I'm not going to get my hair wet, but we're just chilling, drinking at the pool, laughing, having a good time. An old lady swim. Yeah. You know, just head head above water. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) And so I go to get out and the tiles around your pool when they're wet are like ice. They're very, very slick. Yeah. When I fell in slow motion, scraping my shin from knee to ankle along the side and completely submersed, by the way, about 45 minutes before I had to go be on a day. <laughs> we had, well, that was we had to go into attack mode on that yeah. one. <laughs> I'm like, that the I'm bleeding. My hair's wet. <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> feeling whenever you're like starting to fall or like it you was, know you're going down and you can't stop yourself like it was literally in slow motion it was like whoa, 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 splash exactly <laughs> I swear it was that long I swear it was and that we long. laughed so hard for like the longest time too it was too much but yeah we did manage to get my my hair blow dried and make me look somewhat presentable how was for, the date i mean it was like meh <laughs> it was fine. So so. Was this a first date with somebody? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the mm. first date. It was like mm, really meh. just meh, just meh. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Bad. Restaurant was that nice? The yeah, the place was actually really nice. It was super close too, which was which was cool. But yeah, yeah I've just been having a bunch of like meh dates yeah. lately. Not good, not bad. Not good, not bad. Not mm. entertaining enough. Nothing. No shenanigans happen. So right yeah. No, he wasn't worth blow drying your hair for. Mm. I know, but then <laughs> then you I, stayed in the pool exactly. exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't have exactly. fucked up your leg. <laughs> I know. There was a tweet going around that was asking um, if your life. Oh wait, which board game best describes your average daily life? Oh Jesus! Probably life. That's how boring my life is. <laughs> it's just like just going around the board. Then collecting. this thing happens. Then this thing happens. I actually low key really liked that game when I was a kid. It made me feel like I was like playing house. Which board game best describes your so life? Article group is the one who posted it, and it says, "What if your average normal day to day life was a board game? What would it be called?" That's my challenge to y'all. Uh, probably sorry. It says for oh okay, you're just so fucking people up, and you're like, sorry, 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 sorry about you. Example, sorry. I'm sorry, but don't understand. Land, <laughs> it's Candyland, but Gumdrop Pass is actually a conference call with poor sound quality. <laughs> oh no, oh, that's depressing. That's a, that's a lot to think about. Or that's so sad. Millennial Monopoly. Well, accumulate yeah, avocados you can't, you can't instead play of shit. buying property and pay off student loans. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's nah, probably that right. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably oh, me. Not this can't is do all shit. Very depressing. Guess who microwaved fish in the office? Oh, spoiler alert! It's always Karen. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Poor people named Karen. Those Karen memes are wild. I know. They're out of control. Oh my god, the therapist memes that are going around. Did you oh, see those are I amazing. Posted? I know. I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've got uh, we are. the after more than 200 bad dates, this woman is marrying her dog. <laughs> I saw that. On our Someone posted it on our Facebook Is that Facebook a real group. thing? Um, yeah, apparently. Um, I mean, I hope so. How do we former, feel about that? Former model Elizabeth Hode has taken a different route. She plans on marrying her dog. I feel like I can't roll my eyes any louder I, is what I think about uh, that. Yeah. She tried uh, finding a regular guy to date and potentially marry but all of the 200 plus men she went out with just didn't fit the bill. 
In fact, many of them were downright awful. Because of this, her dog, Logan, has become her best potential partner. She told The Sun, I've had 220 dates in eight years from six dating sites, and it's generally been a disaster. I thought it would be a good idea to marry Logan instead. Did you think it would be a good idea? Okay, here's the, here's the thing about this. It's like, why, yeah. though? Like, why do you need to get married to anything? Right. You could just you have just your dog. Single? Why is it that? Why can't you just yeah. be a single person who enjoys is just being really? single and having your dog? Yeah. Like, like really? why can't you just be that? You hate like the thought of being single and alone is is it's worse so than terrible to you being that you're legally married to, to, to your I mean dog. it's not legal I guess but like having a ceremony to bind you to your dog like it just doesn't make any sense to me because I'm just like I understand what you're saying the company of your dog is better than these 200 dates you went out on fine I feel like probably a lot of people feel that way but that doesn't mean that you should marry it yeah that doesn't make sense yeah well she's she's been engaged twice before and it just never worked out um, she she's pretty sure she can find a Catholic priest to perform her ceremony. I don't know that you can. <laughs> I I think the dog has to be Catholic too. Right, yeah. you got to go so to like catechism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, catechism classes. Don't you have to go yeah. to that like couples counseling? Yeah, yeah, that's church part mandated of it. like yeah. couples yeah. counseling with your dog. How's yeah. that? What's that going to look like? You uh, and then I guess he's got um he's got groomsmen. His his buddies Ajax and Bear will be best men. I can't. Who is going to this wedding? What would you do this if your friend? This actually somewhat angers me. Yeah, I, I, honestly, so, I'm surprisingly like, like this brings I, up a fury I didn't expect. I, I same, same. Like the objects thing, I can almost be like, okay, like I almost feel sorry for those people. This feels like the biggest grab for like feel bad for me because I'm single. Like I just it's well, and so uh, desperate and also and like pathetic sounding. Like it's not this isn't cute. Don't like, force just, this shit on your dog. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it dogs well, are don't not force objects. This like, shit on the people that know you too. Also that you I'm not going to your fucking wedding. You know, uh, I, I don't, don't know. go to the chandelier wedding first. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. yeah, I definitely am sipping tea at that one. I would watching. much rather go Pinky to the chandelier up. wedding than somebody who's like, I'm going to marry my dog because I just can't find any boys who like me. <laughs> then just stay day. single. It's, I also hate this it's mentality. It's a bad look. It's a bad look. It's that a- desperation or whatever. It's, it's not it's not good. It don't look good. And when are we going to get to a point where like. Why is it that for whatever reason she thinks in our society that being single is a worse look than marrying your dog? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why is that such a tragic thing? Like, yeah. maybe just embrace, eat, pray, love, bitch. Go, like, right. figure your shit out or something. Take your dog on a backpacking adventure. Like, do something <laughs> right. else. Like, go on yeah. a hike, bitch. Yeah. Like, honestly, take a boxing class. Jesus Christ. God. Uh, I, I am surprisingly I'm upset su- about it. <laughs> I am seriously more more spicy about this than necessary. I think it may be because I'm a little hot. And yeah, we are warm. It's a million hot. degrees outside. And it's just I feel like it's kind of it's just weird because I'm like I'm out here dating and it's not like it's like it's not that it's fun, but it doesn't really like suck either. I'm sure. like if it sucks and I hated it, I wouldn't do it because right. I'm you know that but you're person, not gonna marry do. tig no you know what i mean you'll just oh you'll just hang out with us more exactly. like that's it like, yeah if i this don't bitch needs when girlfriends. I, I was just gonna say that this bitch <laughs> needs friends yes she needs friends yes. yeah where are your girlfriends at she needs like friends. jesus you need one honest friend that's like no I'm like that what girl, would you guys do? You, oh my god are you permission to smack me just if I granted I, you know what like when? this is the thing it it just like i said it sounds so desperate and grabbing for attention that like I can't even with it. Like yeah. it, is, it, it, it literally is making me just like angry. I mean, like true. Oh, this is going to go viral. Real I'm talk. Marry my dog. Like real talk though. Like what would you do if it was your friend or your daughter? Like, and they were like, so I just wanted to sit you down and let you know. Well, me and puppy dog are going to get married. <laughs> like, what would you do? Like, what would you do? Like we would have to, I feel like we would need to we all get do together it like an intervention. intervention. Yeah. And have a conversation yeah. about how to handle it. <laughs> I, like, I want to be a I'm fly on the wall for that group chat. I want to be first and foremost to say that I'm concerned for Tig. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the conversation. Um, has Tig consented to this? Because <laughs> you know my feelings about consent. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this might be problematic. And I agree. 
Agree. So I agree. Yeah. I understand what your feelings are, but I don't know. I, I just feel like Tig needs a say in this. And uh, since he cannot, uh, you cannot. I mean, and also yeah. just marriage brings about like really weird. Also go see your therapist. Images because it's just like. Not that I want to be gross about it, but like, Ugh. are you going to consummate this marriage? Like, oh, what are you doing? No, seriously. No. But Let's seriously, because whenever we talk about objectum sexuals, that's what they say. They're like, yeah, yeah, I, I fuck this chandelier. So it's just like, why? Okay, but nobody gets hurt there. No, I agree with you. I mean, she might get hurt. Exactly. Well, There's a lot of pointy. pointy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. My point being, though, is that like the right. chandelier no, doesn't. No, I understand. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, do people not realize, like, that's what people are going to think when you say you're marrying your dog? I hate it's so this. gross. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I, I had to ask. Really screwed Listen. the pooch. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that expression come from? I was you ever just think that? thinking that and I was like, you know what? They have that. There's a podcast called Away With Words that I'm like, I'm kind of interested to see if they've ever covered that. Yeah, one. surely yeah. it came from something. Oh, well, I want to know. Or not. Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't know. I hope I hope it, it didn't come from somewhere. I know. Let's just hope. Yeah. Moving along. Yeah. Fuck Mary Kill. Yeah. Ooh, wait, first, this is my worst date. I'm Cassie. I'm Keegan. And I'm Christina. And we got we a new patron. patron. We do. Her name is Liz Meyer. Thank you so much. We uh, had a kind of calamitous morning today. With oh, I de- definitely want to apologize for all of you guys uh, that went to download our episode uh, last Wednesday and only got the teaser clip <laughs> Uh, that's on me. So my <laughs> apologies. But then getting getting that email that we we got a new patron immediately made me feel better. So I personally want to say thank you to Liz and welcome to the to the family. We'll get your welcome. button and and uh, sticker, sticker out to you soon. Yeah. yeah. So that will be uh, you should be receiving that soon. We're so excited to have you. It honestly like fills me with so much joy every I time, know. every single time we get a new patron. So uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yes, to everyone on our Facebook. <laughs> wow. That I blew. woke up this oh. morning. I was like a uh, tech support. I know. I because I, I slept in. Listen, I have a sore throat. I took some Nyquil before I went to bed, so I was out until like eight thirty this morning. And then I got like all of your text messages. And then I got on Facebook, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I it's know. Like, our it Facebook was, blew the fuck up. It was overwhelming. I, I was like, was oh getting my God. friend requests and <laughs> messages. I mean, it was like all day Facebook, Twitter, Instagram across the board. I was like, "I'm so sorry." Is anybody else seeing so this? Sorry. Is anybody else getting this? No. What you know? What though? This is same thing with anything that's ever happened with MFM. Oh, like, I yeah, always, for sure. It's the first place I go. Like, where the fuck's the episode? Why isn't it up yet? I always go to Drink Reno's and be like, anybody else having this problem? Is I just look me? and scrolling yeah. through and be like, does anybody else have this issue? Where's your fucking episode at? <laughs> I know. And I don't have a Steven to yell at. So I was just like, Christina. Christina. It's Damn okay. It. That shit happens, dude. That shit happens. It's all good. Yeah. So... <sighs> Well, we did get in the midst of all the the Facebook uh, shenanigans today. We did get uh, re- some really good fuck Mary kill suggestions. Yeah, but I I want to do science daddies. Science I, daddies. I love I it that she called it that. Fucking was rolling. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this is from it's from Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, I mm-hmm. believe Rachel Esquivel, who is our like number one on our Facebook. Group. I know. I'm about to make this girl a moderator. Honestly, yeah, legit, like legit. Um. But so she, Rachel, let us Rachel, know. Rachel, oh yeah, just let, let us know if you're down. If you're down to be a moderator, we'll um, sign you up. <laughs> <laughs> she said that we should do Bill Nye, Carl Sagan, and Neil deGrasse, Neil Tyson. deGrasse Tyson. I've been thinking about Science it all day. Daddies. So Neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> Neil deGrasse. Tyson. Mm-hmm. Tyson, is that right? Why does it sound wrong coming out of my mouth? That's right. I think. Yeah. yeah. He's. A hot take right now, right? Like, yeah, he's yeah. kind of hashtagging me too. Oh, yeah. did, did he get grabby? Yeah. He got grabby. Yeah. He oh. seems a little grabby. Yeah, he, he does. He does kind of put off a little. There's something behind those eyes, and I'm like, it's a little yeah. grabby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and, that's and good then, to keep in mind. I did meet Bill Nye once. He was very nice. To I'm me. probably gonna have the hottest take on this. I think I I'm gonna go for it. I'm. Just oh, okay. we we might be the same. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. I. 
kind of have a crush on Bill Nye. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he's. I don't know how to explain Skinny, it. Skinny, tall. Gonna, I'm gonna marry him. I had a crush on him Every, back ever when I was back a kid. in the uh, yeah, yeah when I was a kid. I was yeah. like, he's so smart and yeah. he's kind of cute. And nerdy. Funny. And you know what, mm-hmm. people. Yeah. I've talked to other people who have like had encounters with Bill Nye, and they're like, I- I've met people who didn't think he was nice, but I thought he was so nice. I met him over at the Laurel Tavern. He was <gasps> of there. Of course, we always meet people at Laurel. And he, I like asked him. I was like so nervous because I hate going up to celebrities; it makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. And so I asked him um, for a selfie with our friend Amy, uh. and like went to take it, and he like took my phone from me and like took it himself. <gasps> And he was like super, super oh, sweet so about cool. it. He drinks gin, oh. just so you guys know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. But yeah, he good was so know. nice. Like, so yeah, I'm on board with that. I think it's I'm, a good take. I'm going to marry I'm gonna him. Marry, yeah, I'm going to marry Bill Nye. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to uh, kill Neil. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to fuck Carl, I guess. Carl Sagan looks like he he fucks like the seventies. Ew, yes. you know it's what like I the mean. Same thing. He more fucks. Yes. He fucks yes. like the joy of sex. Yes, <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> that it's the Kama Sutra, and we're gonna try it all. He we're, totally... gonna, we're like page thirty five. We're you know, rolling like, dice, like one key. of those big dice <laughs> from like Dungeons Fuzzy and Dragons. Dice. The Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, the multi sided. And he's gonna be like, "This is the page that we're doing today." <laughs> oh fuck yes! <laughs> it's like a hundred and twenty sided dice. Oh my yeah. god! No, like. Honestly, I think I'm the same as you because there's something about Carl Sagan that's like th- he's he's, he's like, doing some weird stuff on yeah. shag carpet he's to like you. Seventies, yeah. he's like seventies nerd. In his house. <laughs> hot because <laughs> yes. he's like not hot but he's like 70s nerd yes. vibes but like also kind of like the truth is out there vibes yes. like I, yes. I kind of dig it he's like a very very nerdy fox molder and he says can you dig it and he says that yeah, yes he yes yeah, he does. yes he's got he probably gives- one of those stickers that's like if this van's a rockin yeah, don't come don't a knockin come a knockin gives me a little bit of the vibe of like uh <laughs> matthew mcconaughey's character yes. in days all right all right, all right. <laughs> yes all right all right all right oh uh, which is low-key gross but also, but also like the seven that's the, that's the 70s and i said the same age <laughs> oh <right. Gross. laughs> but yeah so low yeah, key. But he's like of all three of them like he's the one who's like yeah aliens kind of oh, yeah so i'm like I, I i like that i think i like that. i'd fuck that yeah. yeah i grew up with all those books in my house my dad was a big carl sagan fan yeah, yeah. and Mine uh, so I'm embarrassed to say that when I saw those pictures, I was like, who is that? <laughs> I should have known immediately. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love Shag that we're actually, wagon. you thought it would be the hot take. We're all on we're the same sync. page. Yeah. Oh, we're in sync. Yeah. 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 Look at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because there is something about Bill Nye that I'm like, he seems solid. I, yeah. You know, but also I kind of want to fuck him. Yeah. Well, yeah, you get to a, a, lot, a lot when you're married, married to him. him. Yeah, yeah, and he's got like real progressive takes, like yeah, yeah. and I like on that. shit, and he breaks it down using science, yeah. which makes science. it much harder to refute. <laughs> and it's the love kind it. of science that I like. If I'm gonna pick the sciences, it's um more in my stream of sciences that I enjoy. He seems to be more kind of like a Kim nerd oh, slash yeah. like earth sciences mm-hmm. whereas like Carl Sagan's more space science, and that is not my thing at all. If yeah. DeGrasse Tyson wasn't so grabby, I mean. Oh yeah. Wouldn't have anything against him if he wasn't like a there's low key creep. Something about the way that he talks to where he like talks very mansplaining. Condescending. Now, granted, he's way smarter than me. 100. So uh, of course, like right. he knows a lot of of stuff, but just I'm like but you don't have to talk to me like right. I'm a like kid. I like watching him school people it's I don't like. Right. But I would not want to be married to him because you know he would do that in real life. Yes, oh, and totally. he is like the combination of someone who's mansplaining and way smarter than you is oh. awful because it's also like you can never really defend yourself. Correct, <laughs> no. correct. You know because he's always gonna out thank you. Yeah, and also be shitty about it. Right. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm convinced. Yeah. So you're probably right. Yeah. yeah, you are probably right about that. So yeah, I think we I think we chose correctly. We all chose I'm happy correctly. with this. Yes, yes, agreed. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, like bomb ass. What was the other? Kill. What was the other one that was posted? It oh, was the like Trinity the of of wholesomeness. Or yes. Trinity of wholesomeness, which or was, we've already done, kind of. Yeah, but it was, it was Mr. Rogers. Yeah, which we have done. Love your Bob neighbor. Ross. 
and then Bob, Bob Ross, Ross love yourself and Steve Irwin love, love animals. animals yeah well I mean we kind of did that I well mean, I'm, I'm we've, we've do done another take we've done um Mr. Rogers before but this this one's actually really really hard someone posted mm. pictures by the way <gasps> of face app Mr. Rogers with, with a, a beard, beard. Hot. Smoking hot, hot, ridiculous what? hot. Mr. Have you not Rogers seen these photos? The beard is hot. Holy cow! I almost shared I was it with like, you guys because I was like, "What surprise?" I'm I was not, taken wh- aback. Where is it on our our I'm gonna page? I'm going to fuck Bob Ross because I got that same '70s shagging <laughs> wagon. <but> oh, he <laughs> definitely. Sure. Mm-hmm. Any run any your white, hands through that fro? I was going to say any like white man who rocks girls. that kind of fro. I'm like. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to fucking his here for studio. Yeah. On the floor, on a tarp. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. And he, he made sangria. He is. Gonna- <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And you're going to smoke a doobie. You are definitely smoking Before- out. <laughs> a doobie though. <laughs> yeah. A joint. Not a joint. You're going to smoke it's- some reefer. <laughs> and a doobie. And a doobie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I am not fucking Irwin. I'm sorry. I, Dude, he, he fucks his gators, man. He I would fuck him. Wild. Yeah. He seems wild. Yeah. He's doing crazy he's stuff. He's doing crazy shit. People yeah. that put their hands you on in gators' mouth. That's true. He's Ugh. taking you on adventures too. Like that motherfucker, yeah. you're gonna fuck in some really like but I fantastic like I know his places. Wife, so I feel guilty about it also. Well, I mean I don't know her. But <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's an alternate reality where she doesn't exist. But that that picture of him with the beard, did you find it? Oh no, my we'll God. have to find it later. Yeah. We'll find it later. Um Unbelievable. But, but yeah, it's Don't say I'll post it because I do not ever remember. So just I'll, Google I'll that do shit, it. Okay? I'll post it. I'll post it. <laughs> well, Googling didn't work. We gotta yeah. try and find it Got on it, yeah. uh, <laughs> on Facebook somewhere. But yeah, I was I was taken aback. Mm. He was good looking. Um and yeah, I sent it to you guys. Earlier this week, because I was utterly shocked um, in a good way that Tom Hanks is going to be playing Mr. Rogers in a movie. I'm here for it. I'm amazed. That is. uh, It's perfect. It is. It's pretty perfect. But again, like I was watching the trailer, like, what are they going to do with this movie? Because like, it's so wholesome that I'm like, how do you. I'm not used to seeing a movie just about like a straight up well, there's good a person conflict <laughs> at all, right? So like, what is the, you know, like he's just oh, there's a good movie about a good guy. And I mean, what, where's your? I pinnacle? think they're, like, what do they're you... building the conflict into the like it's supposed to be like a reporter who has to write a piece about him, oh. and I think that that reporter wants to find dirt. And can't. No, <laughs> so right. gotcha. it's internal struggle of like something, or I think that's where the conflict's going to be because yeah. yeah, there's no and don't don't ruin me. Don't and ruin if, me. and if you fucking I, if you fucking you bury that shit, you stay deep away. Down, you stay away. You never bring it up again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oof. and you guys want to take five, and then we'll come back with stories. Let's do yeah. it. And we're back. You want to start us off with some stories, Christina? Yes, I do. do I will it. say this will infuriate both of you oh, this story and I'm already hot uh, I, exactly like yes. it's so hot outside i'm already mad we for are, no reason so and fuego let's just take it to level 11 <laughs> get ready to plan a murder oh my god mm-hmm. all right cool cool are you ready because yeah I'm, yeah okay Rhett to jet so we got this through our website the subject is 32 and still a child Okay. She says, All right. <laughs> okay, ladies, you'll probably get mad at this too. I'm still angry, so I'm typing it before I forget it all. Great. Perfect. So this is she's like. She's got fire fingers. She's like, she's like here <laughs> I go. That makes me think of that, <laughs> that meme of gift, that woman. The- <laughs> that woman that's like typing and it zooms in on the phone and it's the really a long wall text. of text. <laughs> yeah. How, what did you Finish do? Him. Yeah. <laughs> Finish him. It reminds me of that cat. The cat. Yes. angry cat the at angry the keyboard cat. Yeah. Key- keyboard exactly I like it that we can just share information via memes and gifs and everyone it's universal it's like a we universal language yes. at this point everyone I knows what it. you mean she says I met this guy on tinder he was hot think Bruno Mars meets really fit young Obama okay all right so used to be some sort of soccer star in college. Now he works nights at a casino and does soccer and basketball and the like recreationally. I like an active guy. 
We hit it off on our first date. He's funny and can take sarcasm. I'm not looking for anything too serious. Just looking to have fun when I can. And if anything serious happens, then it happens. But I'm not pressed. Girl, same. Right. Yeah, that's like your philosophy, right? Exactly. Totally. So when he invites me back to his place for our second date, I'm not too bothered by it and eager to be with someone so hot. Side note, I I know (laughs) hot dude does not equal good in bed, but damn it, I really feel like... Might as well find out, right? (laughs) exactly. Better explore it. Don't go to the explorer over here. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Swiper, no swiping. Stop. (laughs) She says we start with foreplay and we're getting hot and heavy. I tell him to get a condom so we can continue. (laughs) And instead... He just pushes in <gasps> and says, nope, but I like this. No. Better. Oh, 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 I'm no. going to kick you the fuck no. off of me. No. Like you're kicking in a door. No. Right in the rib cage. No. Right. The so fuck off She of me. says, now I'm irritated, but I've been revved up. So I let it continue for no. a minute before no. insisting on the condom. He puts one on. We finish and I leave because he has work. Some things to know about him. His background picture on his phone is a pic from of him from college when he had an eight pack. It's a am- oh okay. I'm sorry. Time out. The background picture on his phone is himself. Yep. Who among us? Anyone? No. Nope. Like who I'm puts so a picture about him putting his dick in? I mean, of course, but like that's dirty such a dick. That is dirty such dick. a douche. raw dog in me without my fucking permission. That is such a douche fucking move. Like, red you have fucking a picture flag. of yourself, yourself as your wallpaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to look at his computer. Is his like computer wallpaper also <laughs> just like a headshot? <laughs> okay, here's here's another tidbit of information about this douchebag. He literally deletes all his messages at the end of every day. <gasps> shady as cheating. fuck. Cheating. Shady, shady, cheating, cheating, cheating. Slim Underline. Shady. Cheating. Bold in italics. We all know this. This is so. My leg is shaking so (laughs) I am on fire. (laughs) And last but not least, he rents a room in a large house full of other dudes. Ew. That in itself isn't a bad thing. We live where we can afford, but it was just something to note that his roommates could probably hear us, though I guess that's why he always left the TV on. Dirty dick. That's exactly what I was going to say. That is a dirty dick. For sure. Like you're in a dick house. Den. Yes. You're in a house <laughs> with den. other fucking dudes. <laughs> Ew. 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 I hate I hate him. You hate I all hate. of this. Yeah. It it gets Again, so much okay, worse. Just I'm to go back sweating right now. To so previous hot. episodes. This would be an ideal candidate. For the pussy embargo. Amen. We don't fuck this guy. Amen. I don't care don't how Amen. hot he is. Yeah. Because if we deny him sex for long enough, then maybe he's... he'll clean up and yeah. be a better person. Just yeah. saying. I'm all for letting my freak flag fly. And sure. I certainly have this, you know, the past year. But yeah, don't, don't, you got to be safe. You got to be safe. And that's why I've never understood why there's any traction to the male birth control pill. Because I'm like, who among us is going to trust some fucking guy <laughs> to take the pill? <laughs> I'm no. sorry. I don't tr- I don't trust you. No. I don't trust you. I don't trust a motherfucker fucking at all. I barely trust myself to remember when I was taking it. I know. So, yeah. No. Nah, do. So, she says, anyways, we make plans to see each other that Sunday, and I tell him to text me when he wants me to come over. I hear nothing from him, so I figured it was a the one. sex must have been pretty good if yeah. she gave him another call. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, uh, I figured it was a one and done type of situation and that was fine with me. I had plenty of other dates lined up and I was still irritated about the condom thing. See, yeah. here's here's yeah. the thing. It's like, you, I, I hate that, uh, and I do it too, where you give people the benefit of the doubt because you're like, he was a little shitty about that, but... Uh, don't don't give these this is people where second chances. My forty one year old age is showing because forty one year old me is about to slit his throat. Yeah, no, <laughs> one year old me would have been like, he didn't mean it. Like it was, and it did feel good. Like twenty one year old me probably would have been the same way, but mm-hmm. twenty nine year old me is like, there are second chances that I will give people. That's but not one of them. Yeah, no, because exactly. I'm just like, now you're fucking around with my health. Yeah, like, back exactly. Up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So he texted me that Tuesday asking why I never messaged him. And I told him that I told him to message me. He tells me that he was in a motorcycle accident and that his phone had broke during the accident. But if I had texted him, he would have been able to respond via his Apple watch. I'm that's a lot of information. <laughs> okay. That, uh, lies. Uh, this yeah, man's a fucking lies. liar. Lies. Like, and that's the thing is like, he's not even a good liar. Like it's so transparent. That's what's so frustrating to me because a person who acts like looking, this, so he's been exactly, for, exactly. Yeah. A person who acts like this acts like this because they were able to get away with it all the years of their life up until now. Yep. That's fuck, why they fuck behave your that pretty way. privilege. Yeah. And here's, here's the thing, mm. dude, I, I am, uh, currently like hanging out with somebody who definitely has pretty privilege. Oh, I thought you were gonna say definitely. Dick. I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Ooh, look. <laughs> Christina, I'm gonna talk Christina, to you. We need, we need no, a conversation. But is the exact opposite is like hella down with consent and like I wonder if he very was ugly when he was in high school. Well, I, I, exactly. I, because here's the yeah. thing. Yeah, there are people who are beautiful people mm-hmm. and not even necessarily that they were ugly before, but there's a difference between like, we have such an athlete worship in this right. country Ooh, totally. that like, You're if right. he was popular in high school and middle school, like being in sports and all of that shit and had that like raw, raw culture with all of his like bros. Yeah. Then that's why he's acting like this. Cause he was good looking and probably popular and all the other shit. Like right. if you're good looking, but you were like good at science in high school, then you're right. probably a much nicer human being. You yeah. know? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And some people don't blossom until after high school. Yeah. And also, I mean, no shade on, I, I hashtag not all jocks. I get it. Like not everybody <laughs> was a piece of shit. Like, but, <laughs> but I still but have most. one that's like, <laughs> I have, there is a jock from my high school and like a serious jock who was like super fucking popular. Um, and if any of my friends from high school that I'm really close friends with want to text me and ask me who this is, I will straight up tell you but this person fucking out of nowhere will like pop into my fucking inbox In every DMs. now and again into my goddamn DMs. Mm. I'm like, motherfucker first <laughs> and motherfucking all. We were not friends in school. Oh, I love that. And I know that uh. I'm good looking. But motherfucker, get the Girl, fuck can we out of here, can we talk about that as like someone who didn't blossom until after thank high you. school? Thank you, like sister. these motherfuckers. Preach. I'm like, you I've had that happen to me too. I'm like, you were a straight up dick to me in school. Right? And yeah. now you're fucking talking to me. Yep. yep. What? Why? Like your friend requesting me? Like we want? Like you want to be yeah. friends now? Kylie, Sarah, I'm looking at you. I'm expecting you to message me, and I swear to God, I will 100. Mm-hmm. percent I will even snap it and send it because that is this person is not who you would fucking think. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's it's really like I didn't go to the high school reunion. I don't need it in my inbox. So thanks. oh, I did, Bye. and I took my, my husband, and Ooh. it was I did that just because I was like, girl, I Chris, wanted to let go. me show you. Oh, I wanted to go. Mine was mine. My tenure was last year. And the only reason I didn't go is because we were on a cruise to Mexico for our friend's wedding because I would have gone. Yeah. Just to be like, listen, you're you were going to roam me and Michelle them. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> I glowed up. bitch. What's up? Yeah. It's, uh, I'm so sorry. We're so off track. on yeah. your story. No, it's all good. She says. Uh, we make plans for the following Wednesday. I get over to his place around 2 p.m. His roommate just lets me in without asking who I was. Weird. <laughs> Not weird. It means that he has girls cycling in and out yep. there like a revolving door. Exactly. <laughs> I walk up to his bedroom just as he was opening the door. So, okay. He has it. It's sunny in Philadelphia on. And while we're heavy petting, he's giggling over parts of the show. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like that. I, I, I don't put like on that. Some music put if on you some don't music. want your roommates to hear you. Oh. <laughs> like they're like kitten mittens. <laughs> like while they're <laughs> she says I'm proactive this time. I ask him where his condom is. Yeah. He oh, you don't have one. I got one. Complains and says, "Just let me put it in for a little bit." <gasps> <laughs> and I say. No, literally all I'm hearing in my head is Keegan going, what type of dirty dick? (laughs) (laughs) He 
starts <laughs> rubbing himself on me and saying things like, I'm just going to tease you a bit before I put it on. <laughs> just let me tease you. Just let me put it oh, in for oh, 10 oh, seconds. Oh, like you're this doing me a just fucking a tip, favor. 32 year old adult. Just the tip. Just, just, just the, tip. the tip. Trying yeah, try to out. just the tip somebody. Oh my God. Get the fuck out of here. That, are we in a time travel episode? Are you now fucking 16 and we're in the back of your Trans Am? Oh my Get God. Get out of here. Get the fuck Get out of here. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, honey. That's not a Trans Am, by the way. That is a... a, a full, <laughs> it's like a Honda Civic. Shit, <laughs> 1984. I, I finally told him... Oh, okay. So at one point, he even pulls out the condom, opens the package... But keeps moaning about putting it in for 10 seconds because condoms make him feel nothing. I'm a baby. Because that's all I hear. Exactly. I finally told him I'm going to need you to respect me and my reproductive health. You're going to give me a yeast infection, if anything, just like you did last time, (gasps) which was true. I had the worst yeast infection after being with him. I had to get a couple rounds of antibiotics. He asks me, what's a yeast infection? Okay, seriously. Okay, so. (laughs) Okay. 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 You dick motherfucker. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Take a high school health class. Uh, Oh, my God. Why do I have to explain women's reproductive health to a 32-year-old adult? Unfucking believable That's so I want to know what he does for a living. What does he do? He's not a gynecologist. (laughs) (laughs) I'm hovering over his hips and ask him, seriously, it's an infection of yeast in the vaginal area. It sucks. It's miserable. And I'm prone to them. And semen can change the pH in my lady bits to give one to me. I I don't want. I can't believe she's giving him a straight up health health Lesson, yeah. like hovering over him on all fours like bitch i am planking on top of you <laughs> you are so hot and i want to do this i'm giving you every opportunity that i'm explaining the Please. a yeast infection you you. Me, you're not core. this dumb exactly i have engaged my full fucking core i'm gonna have an eight pack by the time we're done with this <laughs> he goes i promise i won't come in you to change your ph or whatever oh. My response is, oh, okay, you can control your pre-cum just like that. He says, yes. Oh, I I tell him, please just put on the damn condom. And then he goes, listen, (laughs) well, I got to put my drink down. Hold on. Okay, go. you've licked me. So you got yeast breath. I smell it on you (laughs) with your yeasty beer smelling yeasty breath. (laughs) (laughs) 32, 32, 30 fucking two, 30 fucking two years old, years old has supposedly like done adult shit, like maybe like pay an electric bill or like, (laughs) I don't know, man, he lives in a house with like six other dudes. Maybe (gasps) one of them is in charge of the bills. What the fuck is this? Is one of his dudes his dad? I know. (laughs) I need him. It actually just lives with his family. It's like his uncles and his dad. Yeah. (laughs) At this point. I go dry as the Sahara. Hell yeah. Like, I know. dude, you're hot, but you're a fucking child, and this is no longer sexy. Mm. I say, even if you don't give me a yeast infection, now I'm worried you have some STD from all the other women you don't wear a condom with. And he's Amen. like, what's that? <laughs> he tells me, I'm not with any other girls. Then pauses. Okay, I'm with another girl, but she makes me wear a condom. I'm sitting beside him at this oh, point, no longer really God. into anything, and said, Good for her. Why do you respect her and not me? Ooh. He says, I respect you, but just give me your pussy. I want your pussy. Let's have some fun. Oh, my God. I said, well, oh, I'm sickened. It's nice meeting you, but I'm going to leave. I got off his bed, started putting clothes on. At this point, I'm fully expecting him to put the condom on and ask me to get back into bed, but he doesn't. He's silently watching the TV show, head turned away from me. I finish putting on my clothes, throw his boxers at him, find my glasses in my purse and say, nice to meet ya. And then left. I mean, good for her, but Fuck. God fucking damn. How'd you not punch that guy in the face? Like, Fuck seriously. That. Unbelievable. I want your pussy. Well, too fucking bad. Get the fuck, Get the fuck out, out of here. here. Well, that's, 
That's fucking assault. We've talked about yeah, that before. Absolutely. It's assault. 100%. Yes. 100. Speaking but of, then the sorry. fucking crazy is like, well, you licked me, so you now you have oh, a yeast get infection. The, uh, I'm like, I, you fucking imbecile. I, <laughs> you, you fucking childish imbecile. I could literally not even be around him because of how ignorant oh no oh it, yeah yeah like absolutely. that literally is there's the no amount of oh, there, being dumb is the big absolutely turnoff. and we like, talked willfully about willfully dumb willfully dumb right because you haven't had to do shit because you right. you kick ball real good and you are hot like seriously <laughs> like n- I'm, I'm serious <laughs> It's true. Um, you kick ball real good. You you kick that ball real hard. <laughs> I know both of us almost spit because we were drinking simultaneously. Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my god! But I mean, we've all talked about like what you're you would allow. Like it, it's true, and it might be shitty, but it's true that like someone who's very, very, very ridiculously good looking, we allow to get <laughs> get away with a lot more right. shit than we yeah. would someone else, but. Even then, I cannot picture a situation in which someone was hot enough Mm-mm. for me to put up with that kind of stupidity. No, like, never. I dated a guy like that for oh, five hot seconds. Oh, Guys, I, and I, I was like, you are so... I, I got home from a trip that we went on together and I was... My mom had picked me up from the airport and I was like... I don't think I can ever talk to this. Is this dumb and dumber? Like, where am I? Literally, like, you are the dumbest human being. And this motherfucker had a degree from a college. I'm like, this is why (laughs) degrees don't matter to me. They really don't. They (laughs) really don't. Degrees do not equal smarts. No, they just equal, like, you you were able to pay pay to go to school. school. Yeah, for sure. Right, I mean, honestly, it doesn't take that much to pass a class no. like you just have to have a c average like yeah. you can pass true, a class true, like true. you know what i mean to graduate college true. yeah um, oh my god so your story reminded me of something that we should have talked about at the top of this episode but i have to fucking bring it up yeah which is that um one of our people um on our page posted a how to clean a sex doll video yes <laughs> can we goddamn talk about this because i am not fucking kidding you we have when the best I say, listeners of all time when truly. i say i swear to god i start i was like well i gotta fucking see this and then i fucking you. immediately i i physically out loud <laughs> gagged <laughs> that noise came out and i had to t- turn it off you know, yeah I, oh i no. no thought i was gonna literally lose my guts all over the place yeah it is I couldn't. That's what I didn't even that's what we were, that video. No, no. I was at work whenever no. I got the notification. So I tagged it oh. so that I would watch it later. So I haven't watched it yet. But I mean, is it like man. a is it like a maintenance video? Like they're like, so you've purchased your sex doll. Here's what you do now. <laughs> is it like it's that? It's kind of more like if real sex from HBO had sure. done it. Yeah. So it was like, hi, very... he like throws it on his bed and he's like, so this is how I take care of my doll kind of thing. It's kind of like that. It's not like necessarily it's... like an Ikea, how to build your bed. Oh, it's more like a, oh. it's not like it was a structural step by step. It's more sure. of a, a, we, I will let you, we'll peruse I'm once we're done. Scared. Yeah. It's, it's, did you watch it? I watched like part of it and I was like, nope, can't, can't. <gasps> oh, I watched this. Like, literally not even a full minute. I'm not kidding. It like bummed maybe 30 me seconds. out. Hard. I, like okay gagged. why did it bum you out did it bum you out because the guy seems really like lonely he or is digging up in there <laughs> yeah shit comes what did he out use, like a yes. Tr- <gasps> this is a little bit oh, yes he's like god like i was like ooh. it's and I turned oh it such a fucking bummer it is such i'm a sweating talking about i'm it, watching guys. this immediately when we are done fuck. Yes. watching it immediately when we are finished with this all right okay i've sorry. had some drinks right. i think i'm ready to watch that video yeah. yes all right so yeah. i will tell you my story now yeah so i got the story from reddit um so this story is says names of the story have been changed for privacy great <laughs> Enter me on Tinder swiping around. I match with this guy who has half his hair black and the other half blonde. We no, talked. Ab- no, we don't like that. Your major like, turn this off. Might be a red flag drink. Also, oh, okay, okay great. Okay. Yeah. Also, the maintenance. Can we talk about the maintenance? Oh, that's of that? high. High maintenance. High maintenance. Yeah. High. I don't. I don't. I don't like, I don't that. like that. I don't like that. Um, and I'm somebody with funky colored hair, so I, I can. Yeah. Unless you are Cruella DeVille, that shit does not need to go down. It is a look. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's legit. Honestly, and, and are you Zach Efron? <laughs> That's pretty much the only person, <laughs> dude. Anyway, other half blonde. We talked for about a week and I showed him to a friend um I showed him to a friend of, from college. She freaks out, goes, "Oh my god, I know him." and proceeds to tell me about how they were friends and when they were younger or when they were younger, sorry, and how he's the stand-up dude. She shows me a picture she took of him and one of their other friends will call him Jack and then tells me they aren't friends any longer within the same hour. I find out that a friend from high school is dating Jack. Also Jack and Joe fake name are in a band together. I tell him thing, these things I've learned. So she's responding to dude and yeah. she's like, I go back to him and I tell him these things I've learned and he name drops back to me about these people. And he gains some credibility as a person to me. Cause he's like, Oh, we're sharing stories. I know these people. Yeah. Some back and forth. Oh, like, okay. Oh, we yeah. have some shared friends in common. So right. This it, could... it does help. It does like help to numb right. those like alarm bells because you're like, Oh, I mean, at least sure. somebody knows somebody black and I you're know, a real person. Knows him in person. Right. Yeah. I have half black and half white hair, but I also know some friends of yours uh, <laughs> who not, vouch for you. Not enough. Mm. I trust these people enough with their judgment to go on a date with him without my usual vetting. So we meet up at a coffee shop by his place. Ironically, people from an open mic I normally go to were there performing. Let me tell you, his pictures were so much better than his actual face. Mm, mm, okay. Oh, drink. oh yeah. Yep. But he ends up taking me to my favorite Indian restaurant. So this is so a it's like great. Mm. Yeah, I yeah I'm seeing what's happening yeah. here. Where yeah. She's getting sucked in because it's like a negative, a positive, a yep. negative, a positive. It's We're on the exactly roller coaster. Yeah. We're it, on the roller coaster. The <laughs> roller coaster. He drops like sixty bucks on food without even me even having mentioned it, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. I, on I'm a first normally date. all about paying for myself. Yeah. We go back to his place and definitely fucked. (laughs) And by fucked, I mean, I never want to sleep with anyone that tall ever again. Now. It is hard, ladies. We have (laughs) talked about tall guy peen. Yeah. And a real thing. Yeah. So let's talk about it. Goldilocks. Goldilocks. You got to go for just Just right. right. Because there is such a thing as too big. As much as. Yeah. He would have been good if not for a. Not using, not knowing how to use his large dick. Oh, so he's owie, just jamming, jamming, owie, jamming. Owie. B, owie. if I hadn't found out in the moment he had a major foot fetish. Oh, surprise! Mm, yeah, that's that's like date three, dude. Yeah. Wait until wait until you like somebody. I'm like, if I really like somebody and they really want to suck on my toes, it doesn't bother me that much. First date, I'm kind of a little... Yeah, I don't know you like yeah. that yet. I don't know you like that yet. I'll let you do weird stuff to me around like, start soft, yeah. date three. Yeah. Butter me up like day eight, we can we can really talk about some, some more extreme yeah. things. But I yeah, on date... Yeah, date one. First, I, first time I'm we're, into we're intimate. Not into it. Just do the regular stuff. Yep. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, exactly. <laughs> and see if his condoms weren't so rubbery and non-lubed that they didn't feel awful. <gasps> oh, my oh, God. Girl. Like, <laughs> go get yourself a bottle of the, the cranberry supplements immediately oh, because yeah, you, are, you, you are going to UTI town. <laughs> <laughs> Choo-choo. <laughs> All aboard. (laughs) (laughs) Who doesn't get like the like Trojan like. Yeah. You got to get the good kind. Yeah. There's a new kind called skin. And I think the I is like a Y. Yeah. Primo. Primo. That's the one I recommend. So ladies. So is it Skine? It's Skine. (laughs) It's Skine. It's it's Swedish. It's the Swedish (laughs) con. It's Swedish con. They're made with real Swedes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Uh, da, 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 I didn't feel awful. It it was some of the most pathetic sex I've ever had. Oh, After about pathetic. three or four failed attempts, we both went to sleep. <gasps> failed attempts? Yeah. Oh, no. In the morning, I drove him to work and forgot my leftover Indian food in his fridge. I left the best part, the only good part of that date in the fridge. <laughs> I've had that date. <laughs> I've had that date. 
And you're like, I oh left lunch God. for today <laughs> in his fridge. Damn it. This was the only good part of the state. <laughs> I've only talked to him once since then, and I ghosted the fuck out of him. And I don't usually ghost. That's how bad the sex was. Oh, wow. Yikes. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. That is a yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just because you have the tools doesn't mean That's you right. don't need to learn how to use them. Yeah. I got you hammers know? and nails. Doesn't mean I can build a house. Exactly. All right. This story uh, we got in our inbox, mywordstatepodcast.gmail.com. <laughs> Her. <laughs> in case Stop you plug. want to send us anything. Yes. Okay, so it says, this is a plenty of fish story. Ooh. Don't know why I was on that damn site, but I was. <laughs> After going through a nasty separation and divorce, Aww. I was on plenty of fish. I met this woman. We went out on a few dates. Nothing really earth shattering, but it wasn't bad. We start trying to make plans, and I ask her to go on a small trip with me as I had some free rooms. She comes clean and says... I'm not going to be available for a while. Uh, prison. <laughs> <laughs> I ask, and she says she was going to be gone for three months. Come to find out that she was going to jail for three months. Oh, yeah. You fucking called it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is for jail or rehab. Forging documents for sex workers, Ooh. stealing evidence, Ooh. and a slew of other bad shit. This woman was an attorney and was charged with what? over 80 felonies. It may have been what? more, but I know over 80. Oh, holy shit. It made She's the only news. Got three months? Ooh. Three months for 80 felonies. They must be like white collar shit for the most part. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, it sounds like that forging documents, stealing evidence. And then, you know, several other things. But it sounds like mostly like lawyering well, shit. She like, lost her. She had to have lost her. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. 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 Fuck. Um, and apparently it made he's from Vegas and it made the news <gasps> oh throughout God. Vegas. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, a, it's a really short one. But I mean. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, my Yikes. God. I'm Damn. so sorry. You can't. Do that. You can't so, actually do anything for a while because I'm sure there's yeah. a nice little probation. Yeah, tags parole. On the end of that. You're not leaving what the state. What are you doing for the rest of your life now that you have no career? Yeah, exactly. Everything you went to school Can for. Can you imagine working so hard to mm -hmm. be a lawyer, like past the bar, like work so fucking hard to do that, be mm -hmm. in school for so long only to be like, you know what? I think I'm going to do some illegal shit. No, no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dude, I... Thievery. I have been out of work for almost three weeks now, and I can barely handle my life thinking that, like, like what what am I going to do with myself if I can't find a job, knowing full well that I'll be yeah. able to find You a job. will be you able can to find imagine, a job. like, everything you worked for not ever being able to do that thing again. I know. Well, I mean, and that you how, worked so fucking hard for. How do you ever forgive Jesus. yourself? Because it's just, like... You have to come to terms with the fact that, like, you did that to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I get it. People make bad decisions. Bad decisions are appealing in a lot of ways a lot of the time. But, like, the consequences. The consequences. Mm. Mm -mm. Yep. <laughs> Some of y'all never played consequences as a kid. <laughs> That's and true. And it shows. Mm -hmm. I'm are ready you guys for this? ready? I'm super I ready. Am. Yeah. Let's do it. So you have actual notes. I know. You and I never, never have, have notes. Handwritten notes. even. Handwritten notes. Those are kind of like casting murder <laughs> notes. Right yeah, there. Dedication. I'm really excited for this Dear one. Barbara. I actually read a Dear book Connie. about this specific topic um, a few years ago. And for whatever reason, when I was doing my crazy in love, uh, one of the listicles came up and and her name came up and I was like, oh, my God. Why haven't we done this yet? So I'm very excited because this week, my crazy in love is going to be on Adolf Hitler's niece, <gasps> Gailey Robel. What? I know nothing about this. Oh, story. my God. I, I thought you were going to say Eva Braum for sure. All right, no, let's do this. A lot of people don't know about um, Gailey. But so let me. Uh, Your good friend Gailey, me, first name basically. Let, <laughs> let me dive in, you know, because it really legitimately is the most banana story. Okay. So, first of all, let's do a little bit of history about Adolf Hitler's family. Adolf Hitler was born to his father. His father had married his niece. Right. So, uncle and niece have Adolf. 
Wait, okay. So his parents are uncle are, and niece. Are uncle and niece. Yes. Okay. And so then they get divorced and um, Adolf has a half-sister, Angela, and Angela marries somebody and, and has some kids. So Angela, one, like the prime minister yep. currently? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, like and Merkel? S- yeah. yeah. So then, then she has in Linz, Austria in 1908, Gailey, which is short for Angelika Robel. So they just call her Gailey. Gailey's a very cute name. Gailey, yes. So she's born in 1908. She's 19 years younger than Adolf Hitler. She never really knew him growing up because Adolf was off doing, you know, trying to be a painter and was very bohemian and and everything and wasn't really around the family. But then... Yeah, so was Marilyn or Charles Manson. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yikes, red flag. No. (laughs) Yeah. So they, they meet up again right at 1925 when he's released from from prison because this was right after like the beer hall puts he got put into prison he wrote Mein Kampf he's starting to become a rising star within the Nazi party um so at this point she's 17 and he's immediately struck by her gross and so he Meanwhile, it's like really effing tough in Germany at this point. Any historians? Right, their economy is like shit. Their right economy now. is shit. It's like one million marks equals one U.S. dollar. It's completely like an in inflation. Things are terrible. And by this point, her um, Gailey's father had died. Um, so it was just like the kids and and Angela like trying to make it work in Germany. And now all of a sudden they have kind of rising celebrity in the family. It's uncle Alfie. So they're sidling all up. They're like, what's up? What's up? (laughs) And so uncle Alfie says, you can be my, I don't want to be uncle Alfie. Alfie. Yeah. That's what she calls him. Yeah. I like that. So she, they, um, he invites Angela and Gelly to be housekeepers at his country house it's just, I'm sorry if my fucking brother and uncle was like, yeah, you can come hang out. You want to clean my house? You can clean my house. What? I mean, I mean, if let's be honest, if that's what was happening to my family, I'd be like, you guys can come clean my house. Ugh. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like it's um they they figure it's it's like a way way out. You know, it's like, OK, let's he's family. We're taken care of. We don't have to worry about like money for a little while. So they end up going there. Now, when they go there to the the country house, they're there for a little bit. And then um, Hitler's like main base of operations at this point is in Munich. So this is really just before like he has like any real power. He's a rising star, but he's kind of like, I think at this point to put him on the level would be like a candidate running for president. Sure. So it's like, he's like, Beto. Pete Buttigieg. 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 He's totally like Buttigieg. I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure Buttigieg is not going to appreciate that comparison, but yeah, all right. Oh, no. I know, <laughs> totally not. Not not in ideals or whatever, but I'm talking about power yes, level. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? He's like a Trump is what you're saying. Well, it gets there He's for like sure. He's like a Jeb Bush. He's like a Jeb, Jeb. exclamation Jeb point. <laughs> so clap <TM>. please <laughs> so yeah they're they're housekeeping and then they they move over to munich where his main apartment is he leaves um the mom at the country estate and buys gaily the apartment next to his in munich so she Don't can like that. she can be the housekeeper at his munich place and she did has, you need to buy her an entire apartment yeah, for that? For yeah. her to do that? Did you need to? Okay. So let's talk about another little known fact about Mr. Adolf Hitler. There's a lot of really crazy controversy regarding his sexuality. If you go and look, there are a lot of people that claim he's asexual, that he was just an, wasn't into anything there were a lot of people that said no there were a lot of known like um that he was homosexual that he had a lot of homosexual relationships with chauffeurs and and different people within the nazi party and then there were also there's a uss intelligent report that um was made during all of world war ii where they went and they actually found seven women that were intimate with 
Hitler, six of them had committed suicide. Oh, yikes. What? I mean, I would too if I had. Suicide in quotes sometimes and sometimes not. So know that fact as we're moving forward because that becomes pertinent later. Did they commit suicide before or after the fall of the Nazi party? Before. This is all in the early days. So it wasn't necessarily out of shame. Right, it wasn't like it wasn't like no. Hitler became Hitler, and then they were so ashamed of what they done that they this killed. This was themselves. like in the twenties and thirties, before World War Two. I am and intrigued. Quote unquote, killed themselves. Right, I am intrigued. Right. So some of this was yeah before he's even in power because well, yeah, got a lust for blood. All of this stuff happens before he's even become president. Before he has any kind of power at all. I mean, he has some still. He's a prominent figure, but he doesn't. He's he's not like the dictator or anything yet. So like these, these women have, have killed themselves, but we'll, we'll get to that. So already this is bananas. So he's got this 17 year old on his arm. And at first people are like, Oh, this is like a fatherly figure. He's taken her under his wing kind of thing. And she is reveling in the attention. She gets to be kind of the queen of Munich at this point because he is kind of a local celeb and she's enjoying the attention that she gets. And she's how old enjo- is she? She's 17. Yeah. She's 17. She's 17. She's living in a Germany that is in the middle of a massive recession. Right. So other people don't get to live like that. And mm-hmm. she didn't get to live like she that She gets before. to go to the opera. All of a right. sudden now she gets a, like a full like ride to medical school, like her future looks really bright. It would be so easy to be taken in by that, like so right. fucking easy. And multiple people have described her, depending on on who you, you, you know, believe, she's been called like a princess of uncommon beauty, that she was like the Aryan ideal. And then there are other people who are like, she was an empty-headed slut. Wow. Yeah, literally quoted. Wow. Why wow. can't both be true? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can yeah. all be true. It's a seventeen-year-old girl. We're yeah. we're complicated. So yeah, basically, at this point, she's enjoying the attention. She's also enjoying the the power that she has over men. So she starts kind of like flirting and being like, "Ooh, Uncle Alfie ain't gonna like that." She ends up with the affection of Hitler's chauffeur, Emil Maurice. Oh, so I, I they don't think that's gonna fly. That's, that's not good. No. Fly. So they they start like a nice steamy affair. Hitler finds out about it, chases Emil off with a gun, like f- fires him. Oh shit! Pretty much, it was like you're fucking out. And then immediately after that, closes down Gelly's apartment and oh. moves her in with him. Oh, I don't like that. So this is 1929. Like She's moved in with him. And like has pretty much not allowed to go anywhere without some sort of supervision. Either it's him or it's a very close associate with him. Her only companion is a canary named Hansi. And she's at this point dropped out of medical school and wants to take singing lessons in Vienna, which she's allowed to do. She's allowed to go back and forth with people to go take these singing lessons in Vienna. That's what she wants to do. So I got thoughts. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people like try to like get her to come out. She finally um is able to go out on a pseudo date with this guy named Otto Strasser, who was a very close associate of Hitler. Why They're, would he let her do that? She's a, she was allowed out. It, it was a ball that she wanted to go to. She really wanted to go to. And people had said, like, people said that. If Gailey wanted to go swimming, that became more important to him than the most important meeting that he had that day. Like he he would put things aside to cater to her. Hmm. So her needs were important to him unless her needs and desires went against what he wanted. Correct. One hundred percent. So Basically, she's able to go to this ball that she really wanted to go to, and she's able to go with like his close friend as like a supervisor. And they're at the end of the night, they had like a wonderful time. They're walking through this beautiful garden, and they're sitting on a bench, and she starts crying. And she tells him, 
everything. Everything about what we're all like sips. Adolf Hitler oh, dear. has done to her. Oh. Apparently, according to this guy, and it's been corroborated by some other sources, she was so bothered by his sexuality. Now, we don't yuck anyone's yum, but I no. feel like we can be a little hard on Hitler. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right? yeah. Listen, I don't yeah. think we need to be. I don't think we, we don't need, need to, to handle him with kid gloves here. Nah. Fuck him. He liked it. When she would squat over him completely naked so that he could examine her closely. His niece. His His niece. niece. His teenage niece. And then right before he came, he liked her to pee or poop on him. Oh. This is also corroborated by some of the other testimony they got. This, um, Remember the six out of seven women that had killed themselves had also kind of told Similar stories oh, to people before they had committed suicide, including one, um, a woman named Renata, who was a stage actress who ended up throwing herself from a balcony, mm. said that what he wanted to do distressed her so much that it was like unbearable. And he had oh, constantly shit. like when when they were intimate, like he begged her to like kick him and degrade him. And that that's what got he him He just off. needed a really good BDSM mistress that yeah. he could pay. Because look, there are people who do that yeah. for a living. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's who you need not, to... I'm not yucking his yum. Yeah. What I'm yucking is his fucking cut, like, niece. First of all, it's his niece. Secondly, niece. clearly she didn't want to be doing it. Right. And thirdly, clearly none of these women, or, or at consenting. least the majority of these women, did not want to be engaging in yeah, this. Yeah, we're talking about a, a definite like power struggle at this right. point. Like, how could they have like right. really like, said you no? You do what you want to do. But like the whole thing about like not yucking anybody's yum is like, you do what you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody. Right. If you are forcing people to do things or intimidating you people. You distress them so much that they things. commit suicide. Right. When when they're uncomfortable, mm-hmm. like then you are hurting people. Like right. you are. So, what the fuck? Yeah, that's uh, that's I deeply am officially upsetting. Officially yucking your yum. Officially, yes, yeah. Officially, exactly. So, okay, this stuff is all becoming the talk of of Munich. Things are are getting like it's not going to be good for Gailey. Not going to be good for Gailey because I have a feeling. It's just a feeling I got a that feeling. Uncle Alfie probably isn't going to like it that his reputation is getting fucked with. Yeah, and this is right as shit is starting to go down. We're going to skip ahead to 1931 now. So it's she up. has been in uh, like under his roof, under his thumb now for two years. Where's but her really, mom? Her mom's up in fucking Berchtesgaden. Back Berk Berk to Scott in Berk the to the villa in the country, just kicking it, just, just like, kicking look, it. Look, totes. look, Gailey, you're just gonna have to fucking it. deal because take one for the team. Take bitch. one for the team. I'm living a good life over here. Damn. Yeah. So, Thanks, mom, thank you so much. She's like in his villa, which, by the way, the other thing that the report says is like Hitler had pictures of his mother like everywhere. Like, so, like, didn't we talk about that? Didn't we have a story a where a guy thing. had his like grandma's picture like next to the bed? Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, he, he used and to he sleep turn it around and turn it around. Mm, mm, I don't like it. I don't like that. He used to sleep like in her bed, like, that was like something he, he wrote was like his fondest memories was like when his dad wouldn't come home and so he would get to sleep with his mom's oh, bed. Me so me and Cassie were looking you at know, each other like, oh. I'm just saying, oh. you want to do a psych profile on this this guy, you've got well, plenty I, of material to work with. And I also heard like, I was listening to something and they were talking about how um, some theories, and look, we don't need to sit here and like have theories about why Hitler's a piece of shit. Like, he's a piece of shit. But like... That a lot of the people who came back from World War One, mm-hmm. like a lot of the shit that they experienced is very similar to what is that CTE or whatever that is that like um, 
football players experience where it's like yeah. long term brain damage yeah. oh, from shit. like shell like Shock. yeah like you know things exploding near mm-hmm. them yeah all the time yeah. and then like the psychological trauma and that it does the same like fucked up shit to your head yes. as that so you've got that you've got a fucked up parental situation yeah yikes on yikes y- yikes on bikes yeah soups yikes on bikes so it's 1931 Gailey's had it because at this point she is 23 years old. She will. She's done with this whole situation. Yeah, she's she's like to be an old maid if she don't hurry the fuck. She's been doing exactly. this shit since 17. Jesus, yeah, she's over it. She does. She wants to be free. She was always, despite all the different ways she was described. One of the the things that everyone described her as is very she carefree. The fab five. Very yeah. She's Hell yeah. And very that out queer there. eye in her life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she um. She decides she's going to go to Vienna. She's going to Austria. She wants to take singing lessons. Like, she wants to move there. She's all about it. They have a spaghetti lunch on September 18th. Her and Hitler eating spaghetti. I, that seems so I weird just, to me. I don't know why that was just like the weirdest <laughs> mental image. I'm like, this why? Is exactly just like, having, there, he's having just spaghetti. slurping it up. Just <laughs> Hitler, like, what's happening? Hitler okay. ate spaghetti. It's All right. Does notated. he use a spoon? Is he like know. one of those? Okay, interesting. But they start. They start arguing. They start arguing because she's she wants to do this, and he's like, no, and she's like. But I really want to go. What do you and mean? No, like, I'm twenty fucking three. Yeah, right. he's like, no, Cold I don't, I don't, I don't approve of this. So they have this big argument. Supposedly, Hitler gets in his car and goes off to Nuremberg. He had like a speaking engagement, and his staff said Gailey was really in Nuremberg. Wow, upset, but she was up in her room, and then they heard nothing. Until they went to go check on her the following morning Mm -hmm. when she didn't come down. The door was supposedly locked. They had to break it open and they found her dead of a gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. Pardon me if I don't trust Nazis. Like if I don't trust a Nazi's account of how this went down. Yeah. Yeah. And also like Hitler's housekeepers who were paid by him. Yeah. And... Yeah. And who would fucking betray Hitler? Like, uh, if you yeah, lived in his especially. house, yeah. like, at that time. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. like, of course, like, if they're going to tell whatever yep. story they have to tell. Suicide. Yeah, I don't. Mm. The biggest thing. But also, if she killed herself, I'd be like, you were living with Hitler against your will for six yeah, years. And so, like, like, maybe. Yeah. And had to do things that I'm sure, don't like, you. you do Didn't not do. fathom. Didn't want to like, with. I thinking about like sex is like as a 17 year old like oh. in our days like when I was 17 yeah. I would never think of of peeing or pooping on somebody no, 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 like no. that that is so outside the realm I hadn't so even I can't, had sex can't even imagine yeah <laughs> going back to like the 30s what they think of sex oh, and Jesus. and love and all that and what that what a toll that must well, have been. And this is your uncle. And it's your uncle. It's your oh. uncle who's wanting you to do this like really fucked up shit. Yeah. Trigger with him. fucking warning. Guys. Yeah. I mean, truly. Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah, I, I can only imagine like the power dynamic there is so fucked up. So while I'm totally oh. willing to believe that Hitler or one of Hitler's people fucking killed her because. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. she was talking. Yeah, yeah, but also she was it, over it. I mean, she, she could have. She could have because if you don't see a way out, this has been your life That's for true. six years, mm-hmm. and you've had to do these things that I'm sure make you feel ashamed and bad. So that is one of the theories: is that she did actually kill herself. She had a gunshot wound to the lung, so it was below a- her heart. It's a Which weird, a very weird to, way. Yeah, like you're aiming the gun underneath your rib cage. It's really to shoot weird. Yourself. That would it's be weird. weird. So she, uh, she's like, "This is where my heart's at." Right. The <laughs> other thing that's very strange is that on her desk was a, a letter that she had started to write that says, "When I come to Vienna, we will go to Semmerling and." Didn't even finish the A and D. Oh shit! So She's if you're committing writing. suicide, who doesn't finish their suicide note? Yeah, and it's not even a suicide note. It's it's, it's talking. Letter. It's a letter to a friend saying, "When I come to Vienna, we will go to Semmerling and 
and that's what it says. Wow. So I'm like, yeah, no one's like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> right yeah. in the lung. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the middle of a benign sentence, like making plans. Well, I mean, about- yeah. making plans, like yeah. not even just a benign sentence, but a sentence that is indicating that you want a future, at right. least in so much as it implies that. interruption. Yeah. Yes, right. yes, absolutely. Yeah. It does. Which no one in the mm-hmm. housekeeper is like, no one came in. Like, no one's saying, like, we saw her. She was mad after spaghetti, and then we didn't see her. Also, nobody heard the fucking gun go off. Where exactly. was everyone? Nobody, nobody heard anything. What bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There, that's where you get me, is I'm just like, all right, maybe I could convince myself that she killed herself, because her existence seems pretty so, shitty. And it's Hitler's yeah. and, personal gun. Oh, fuck oh. you. Oh, well, oh. you just left it there. Huh? That's convenient. In yeah. her fucking room. She just found locked it. Locked room. Yeah, in her locked room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody Convenient. heard a gun go off. It's not like there was a fucking silencer. Seems cool. So there were so, so, much, so yeah. much rumors. At this point, this is really like the the current climate in Germany was very fractured. You had people that were super, super into like this Nazi party rising to power. You had people that were like, no, this is bullshit and a big opposition fighting it and there were a bunch of journalists sounds familiar there were a (laughs) bunch of journalists that hopped on this story like what is this a cover-up like what is going on there was Mm -hmm. one journalist in particular um his name was gerlich and he's dead he's legitimately dead he solved it he he said without a doubt i have proof hitler murdered Gaily. Oh shit. I'm gonna publish this shit. I have the opposition thing and it's gonna be published in March. Weeks before SS come in, raid it. They think that they had like a mole on the inside that mm. called him out to the Nazi party. They burned everything. And they took him to Dachau. Here's- and he was he was killed in um at Dachau on in nineteen 19- 34 on the night of the long knives. Here, so. Here's my question. Do you guys think that Hitler did it himself or do you think he had somebody in the house do it? Because Hitler has always struck me as, as the man does anything. As the, he doesn't do anything himself. He's right? a Manson type where right. he's going to yeah. get. He makes other people he do Manson, atrocious the things. Parallels. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, to, to parallel them is ridiculous considering that what what Hitler was responsible the scale for that, yeah. the scale of what were he, well, but you if know, you what, think about the scale if, of what somebody like a Manson could have been exactly responsible if, if, for, if Manson if had been had given had, enough responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows that, that level of power, power and narcissism. Yeah. And wow. Just a complete lack of caring about anybody, but yourself. Absolutely. Like, that's what that is. Because who even in good conscience, even if you weren't doing anything, well, I mean, it is pretty terrible just in itself, but like who could even keep their niece essentially hostage, hostage. for that long? Even if yeah. you weren't doing anything particularly exactly. like nefarious, like what kind of normal person it's could like, just be like... You know what? Like, You're 23. You still are under my thumb. And be That's like, wild. be a That's young, wild. be a young woman in that day and age in something like... I can't I can't even imagine what that would be like. It would be like if Trump was holding like Ivanka hostage. Tiffany. Is she not? <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Is he not? I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean it's just it's 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 wild. And it's like so part of you is like it's family, you get like Stockholm syndrome and then you think, but what sure. else can I do? Especially a woman in the thirties with like no, you have limited you know resources, I mean? limited s- options. It blows my. It's fucking it's not mind. the th- it's not the same. You have to look at everything within the context of the time, and then also within the like economics of that time. Like right. we we have the understanding of like what the Great Depression in the United States was like, mm-hmm. and then imagine that. And also like the inflation Germany, like post World War One and yeah, the, and the socialization so of women at that time yeah. and your family. And you're right. It's like mm-hmm. everything. It's like, look at how many passes I let people in my family get away with bad, not get away with, but like I continue to see them and interact with people right. in my family despite their like bad behavior sure. that I would never 
continue to we like definitely forgive that so much quicker you're so yeah right. i mean or right. like even if i don't forgive it i'm just like well i'm still gonna see them like i'm not gonna shun them i'm still gonna see them at family functions i'm still gonna interact with them yep. because they're my family like if that was anybody else i'd be like no nah, fuck that i'm not seeing that right. person like fuck that like right. it, your mentality is just so different mm-hmm. it is true no yeah. matter how much you try to think that it won't be like oh bad people are bad people you're right it's, yeah it yeah. does change it yeah it does so the story is is that um rudolph hess is the one that that called the hotel that hitler was staying at and the hotel sent a motorbike out to meet up with hitler's motorcade and told him the news hitler was so distraught that he basically was like I just old, rolled my eyes. I don't know if you I heard know. that. We both rolled our eyes so, so loud. hard. He was described <laughs> as comatose for the next like week. And at one point was even like threatening to kill himself. Uh, I wish you would. Gun, I wish you would. A, a gun was taken should've. away from him. Oh, they should have let him have it. There's and a good, sorry, like there's that's a good horrible. episode of um, Behind the Bastards. This is one of them, one of the many that they have on Nazis where they talk about the number of times Hitler almost died and like people around him like saved him like took guns away from him and things like that and I'm just like if just one of you like would have just fucking let this motherfucker like somebody else would have taken over you know what I mean somebody else would have taken over well but there were a couple times before like before the regime really took off that I'm like if just anybody yeah this was one of them this was literally like before like Mm. any any of this this should have let him do it got got started so he was so distraught um his inner circle was just astounded by like how affected he was. And every single person was like, that's when it all changed. Guilt will do that to you. Listen, And he was a completely different person after Gailey died. So I don't think so. I think he was probably the like same person. Blaming if but, I ever heard it. But yeah, it was just like, yeah, everybody says like, was lear- like, he was a different person already. after mm-hmm. Gailey died. And in his Munich apartment, her room was kept shut. It was never cleaned. It was never anything except for twice a year. <laughs> no, so it still had no, like I'm the sorry. blood. My face is so like, our oh, eyes they are didn't about even, to roll out of they our They didn't heads. clean the blood stains, like nothing. But like twice a year for her birth and the anniversary of her death, he would bring in fresh flowers and he would let people view the room what that the she slept in. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? Okay, why do we even ask that question about like Adolf about Hitler? Hitler. <laughs> here, and here we are. Apparently, there's a uh, there's a lot, man. Because I I had no idea about the existence of that USS intelligence report. The way they Damn. went to great lengths to kind of do a, a profile of him. Yeah, and this was like pre Mind Hunter shit. Damn. They were like, "What's going on? What happens with his in your brain? Sexuality? Because we feel like he's weird." And there's mm. a fucking government document. Trying to figure out Hitler's sexuality. All How the way to wild the top. is that? <laughs> All the way. You're flinging that paper around like. Whoa. I know. I was like, wait, what? I I like that's felt- a wild fucking story. No, that that that's story wild is wild. Oh ride. man, it's amazing. How I gotta like- find a picture of this girl. What's yeah, her look at Gailey. Uh, Gailey. How do you spell it? It's G E L I, Robel, R A U B E L. And there's pictures. It's it's weird. And I got a lot of of initial information from a Vanity Fair article written by Ron Rosenbaum, who says you can see it in some pictures and you can't in others. And that's what he finds so unique about Gailey is that like there's so many different ways that different people describe her or see her. It's funny. She's got a, almost a different face in every in picture. Every fo- yeah, exactly. And he's like, some people said she was blonde. Some people said she was dark haired. It's like, like she was brunette. just like a, a chameleon kind of. Yeah. And, and that people saw what they wanted to see. But the, the biggest thing was that everyone noticed the effect that they had on Hitler. And he was later quoted as saying, that she was the only woman he ever loved. Well, Whoa. that's gross. Wow. So she's, sorry, she's Ava. Very different Yikes. than I would have expected. Like the way yeah. she looks, she's actually like very sweet looking. She's got like a round face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Very sweet looking. Yeah, like very innocent looking. And it mm-hmm. makes me sad because her, but she her looks her like him is, kind of. Her name which is, is gross. lost to history, pretty well, much. Totally. 
Um, never even heard of her. Never either. heard of her. She had such a profound impact at such an important part of time. And like her her death, there's nothing um, official about it. There's nothing... You know, it just bums me out. I wish that there there are a bunch of people that are trying to. Um, she did have a beautiful grave in Vienna for the longest time, but you have to pay for upkeep. Mm-hmm. So because World War Two got crazy and Hitler was paying for upkeep, and then yeah, he died. killed himself, they moved her to a, a pauper's field, and they're getting ready to unearth that whole pauper's field and just put him in a mass grave so this this is the kind of the last chance for them to dig her up and actually do like a legitimate autopsy autopsy. on her because the other thing that they've they've found their whispers of the police report her nose was broken really which they were like oh she broke it when she fell from the gunshot mm-hmm. but she had bruises and they were like yep all but post-mortem even, but even now what was the embalming like at that time right, like right. is her face going to be and your nose is not a bone so they, you don't have there's y- not going to be anything left when is you think it going to be skull, intact is. enough i mean unless it broke unless it fractured like the orbital bones like around right. your eyes or something like that is it but even then it's like if the embalming wasn't very good. It's been so long yeah. that they like, would also be able to tell if she was pregnant. <gasps> How would they know if it's just if you're skeleton. three months or more, they can tell because if your you're hips pregnant. start to widen. Is that what that is? It's like your hip because they can tell if you've had a child because your hips turn out sure. and like they widen. I don't know what, right. at what not, point during the pregnancy that happens. I'm not sure, but I, I don't know the science behind it, but yes, you can tell if someone even like a badly decomposed. Studies. Yeah. Science, science daddies, daddies get at us three, three months or more than um, you would be able to, to tell. And that is the biggest prevailing rumor is that she was either pregnant with Hitler's baby or she was pregnant by her Jewish voice teacher in Vienna. Oh Ooh, shit. I mean, because if it was Wait, Hitler's baby, why the fuck I would he she care? wasn't even able to go to Vienna. No, she was able to go back and forth before. Oh, and then he was okay, like, okay. she wanted to go to Vienna again while he was out of town. He's like, it. no. And it was her plan of escape to was go to, to go Vienna and, and marry <gasps> a Jewish man. That's the rumor. She was supposed to marry somebody in Vienna. But the rumor was she had a Jewish voice teacher. So like, was there, there's so, all of it's rumor yeah, it's all and rumors, speculation. And there's nothing that's and really provable, exactly, honestly, at this point. At this point, except for there's stuff that you can get from her bones. There really is it, stuff. I mean, even if she was pregnant. There's no able, way to tell you'd by You'd be who? able to tell, I think, well, from like bone. Whose baby it was. Yeah, you can do DNA from like inside the bone marrow. If there, if the baby was, baby if, he's far, oh my God. if he's well, far, if he's far enough if along, if it was far enough developed oh, that there were actual, yeah. bones you'd be able to tell. And not just cartilage that wouldn't disintegrate. But I think she would have had to have been pretty far along. Oh shit! For that, for that to be a possibility. I love science. I know this so. is a very science heavy episode. I know. We were like, y'all don't know what so yeast infections are. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know about, but no Carl Sagan <laughs> and, no, and that shagging wagon. Amen. But yeah, I I didn't know. I I went back and forth between whether I wanted to tell you guys, but I was like, is Hitler have a crazy in love? I think I got to share. Well, it. I mean, I would even think that Ava yeah. is is also one in in some ways because like I've watched documentaries about that, and like it does make me wonder like. What was going on with her mm. that she just pretty much allowed him to treat her like garbage? Oh yeah, it's and so sad. Stuck around through all of it, like you know what I mean. And then like I just found the out end, today, like, I didn't know that he, crazy he did Germany. actually marry yeah. her forty eight hours before. That's what they, I heard too. Is they like died. yeah, they yeah. got they married like in so, the mountains or something. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, but why? You know, he didn't love her. Like he treated her like garbage so it's it's an interesting thing she was safe garbage and i'm sure it's all she gives a shit about she was blonde blue-eyed garbage and mm. that's all and he gave a shit about because yeah that was the thing is that all this was happening is like it was very important for them to stick to the thing that it was a suicide because it, it, it but it if his like parents if, were uncle and niece why does it fucking matter if him and his niece are like mm. What does he really different care? Times. Different, different, different times. times. And yeah, but her, I mean, her being dead in his apartment would have derailed like yeah. his his whole thing. So it was important for them to be like it was suicide. 
Well, then what my so question weird. about that we is then like if someone else did it, why would they do it in the house then? Like, why would they leave so many questions? Like right. if because if someone else was going to plan that, which I would think would be the case because it doesn't seem like Hitler does his own dirty work ever. But like if one of his like henchmen did it, wouldn't it make more sense for them to like get her out of the house? Right. And that's why I I actually lean towards I think Hitler did it. Did it himself? Like I, know, I think I, I think, don't think he I did. Think, I think it, they got into an argument. I, I don't think, think it was he did a rage because if he went into this comatose like state after he found Guilt. out, well, I, I think, think he that, did actually love her. I think he did too, and I think that when he found out, I think it was like, oh fuck, that actually happened. That like through. I told them to do it, but and it did. Now it really yeah, happened. And now it's real. And it's setting. I and, think. Yeah, I think it's a henchman situation. I mm. don't know. It's hard. It's like we'll never. Oh, I mean, well, I don't know if we'll ever know. I mean, mm. I'd be interested to see the bones, you know. Right. That it, it, yeah. God, what are they digging this up? Because I'm well, about to. There's there's a fight. They this they, they, they <laughs> might National not. Geographic. Vienna, Vienna doesn't want to disinter it or or have, um, have those ties to Hitler sure. in any ways. So they. Well, nobody does. Yeah, it is what it is. It's, it's history, and I feel like it's disrespectful to um to a young woman who was caught up in something that did nothing did, honestly it's yeah not really and it's just fault. like it, it's not it's not her fault and her life is now like shrouded and all this and and like her her death means something and it's difficult because obviously like there are millions right of it's, deaths it's, it's that hard came to after feel her. that way i mean I, I understand i understand it and like but her I, death and matters it, it does matter and it's hard for me to feel like it's hard for me to feel like it doesn't because of course it does and it wasn't her fault and like all of those things but then my next thought is like in the scope mm-hmm. of millions mm-hmm. of That's deaths at, right. at the right. hands of the Nazis. It's like in the big picture. I know that sounds like callous, but it's like in the big picture. But you get a you chance. Know, you get a chance to actually have some answers sure. and to have and, some and insight. That's, that and is, that's you know, what I'm here for. That's where I, I would someone say so say close that, yeah. to somebody yeah. before it all I really got started. To say that her her death matters in the weight of what I feel that you're saying because I understand it is yeah. a lot to put on. It is a lot to put millions of people dying on one woman's shoulders mm-hmm. a woman who you know what i mean like that's all i i know lot. exactly what you're saying like i uh, her death matters as much as any anyone's sure, anyone death. that's, death. What, I, that's and, what i mean any yeah, murder yeah, yeah. Or, or like suspicious death where people have the right to know what happened yeah. like yes. i absolutely believe that absolutely right. exactly um and, and so as far as that goes point in history yeah, too yeah. i mean if anything like I, I mean, it, it gives us... Could this have changed the course of history is yeah. is a, an insult to we the need, people who were lost in this. And I think to... Right. To sh- and I think that's where I, I feel like I, I'm coming from from this is I feel like that we insult the loss of all those millions of people to say, well, if this thing had changed, if this one little thing, if this woman hadn't X, Y, Z. Yeah, then no, it, it wouldn't well, It wouldn't have changed. I don't think it would have changed. To keep, to keep with no. our science theme, right? <laughs> I mean, everything is a very is a very careful balance mm. of, of things. And is it true that like one little thing or another um, could have kept Hitler from doing what he did? You know, it's like a, it's like a butterfly effect kind of situation. Sure. If Hitler had never gone to world war one and maybe didn't like get that kind of trauma if, or, if, or if, if he if, didn't if. do this or he didn't do that, like any number of things mm-hmm. could have changed the course of what happened. Yes. And so it's, it's difficult to say like, Maybe if this hadn't happened in the way that it happened, then it, this other thing wouldn't have happened. You However, know? my intrigue is there. The archaeology, absolutely, science brain the history, I'm like, the of history it, brain of me. I do want to know. Uh, I am. I'm like. I'm dig intrigued. Her up. Dig her up. Let's yeah, find yeah, out. Yeah, I wanna, yeah. I want to yeah, read agreed. that whole like U.S. government report. Agree. Yes. Agree. Agree. How much Hard. you want to? Yes. Sip the tea on that. I just want Paul Hell Holes yeah. to read it to me in my. Paul Holes, yes. yeah. <laughs> when I'm like between. snuggled in for the night, yeah. I've got like a hot toddy. Put in my earplugs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ready to s- snuggle, snuggle. Mm-hmm. Well, wh- where do you go post Hitler? Jesus. I mean, what are you guys watching? I-, I mean, I feel like we have to go like the the 
the complete polar opposite. Which is like, well, yeah. you guys are watching Queer, Queer Eye, Eye, which Queer is Eye. like, I haven't I started it yet. Queer Eye. Season four. I haven't started so, it yet. So good. Good. Dude, honestly. Yeah, if you want to be reminded of the good of humanity. That yep. show. Go, there you go immediately watch Queer Eye it because it will make your soul right again. When you're talking about the Holocaust, you are reminded <laughs> of how horrible people can and then be. when you watch queer eye and then you watch queer eye and you're like but also but also <laughs> good humanity, humanity is capable yes. of really good oh, shit so yeah. yeah when you're done with this episode go put on <laughs> queer immediately, eye <laughs> immediately sooner Choo-choo. get a hug for your eyes mm-hmm. yeah and your ears Oof. oh yeah. you know what i have not started anything new because i've still been watching ozark mm-hmm. uh and binging trailers and, i'm still but i've been Mars, binging yeah. trailers and guys Mm. I put it on my Facebook, but the trailer <gasps> for the new Harriet movie. Dude, oh, guys. Duh. Okay, chills, chills. Can chills. I talk about the nerdiest thing you've ever learned about? Amen. Me? Yes. Okay. Right now, I, when I was in fourth and fifth grade, was obsessed, and my obsession started with biographies. <gasps> yes. We had in my library like these specific biographies of all these famous people and i remember harriet tubman being one of my well that along with like the anne frank and all that but that book harriet tubman story plus two ohio cincinnati you know yeah, underground it's a railroad. Big part of it was such a big room. part of our ohio history, history yes that yeah. harriet tubman was like a huge and you know what story. as much as like they try and it's really a, a disservice to black history that, you know, we only get one month and they cram yeah. in. They're like, in you're like going to you're going to learn about Martin Luther King and Harriet Tubman during this month. Right. That's it. And even then, we don't learn nearly enough about Harriet Tubman because this bitch did so mm-hmm. much. Like mm-hmm. not only you learn that she escaped to freedom, you learn mm-hmm. that she brought like 200 slaves back you know, back mm-hmm. and forth That's th- via the Underground wild. Railroad, which is already wild. Yeah. But then she was also like part of the Union Army and yeah. did like all kinds of shit on like top of that. Shit. She was like spy shit. Like she was a spy. Christina can back me up on this, but I feel like maybe from an Ohio history perspective, we had like, I know at least a year focused solely on Ohio history. So I feel like I actually learned. Yeah. A yeah. Lot. We got, we, we got a lot. on. We didn't Tubman. have that a lot in, a, in a, like States history. We didn't have a lot of that. You were almost in the war of Northern aggression area though. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> I had elementary school in, in Nevada, oh, in okay. Las Vegas, which yeah. they were not involved in the at civil all. war at all. No. And then I was in middle school and high school in Missouri, which was half and half. Yeah. So Missouri was like the only state that was split. neutral. And this is fun for people who are not from America. They might not know this, but like, yeah, um, Missouri was the only state that was split down the middle. They weren't neutral. It right, was right, like right. north. It's not like Switzerland. Yeah. Right. It was like the north half of Missouri fought for the Union, Union and yeah. the so- southern half of Missouri, where I lived, fought for the Confederate. So it was like the only state that did that. They so were you like, were in the War of Northern Aggression area. Yeah, yeah the War of Northern Aggression. <laughs> oh, I, I am not going to lie to you. I like. I oh, remember I was like that. thirty something years old when I was like I was today years old when I learned that term. I <laughs> never in my entire well, because, life yeah, Ohio, ever, 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 ever Ohio is, was solidly union. Oh, solid union. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yes, yeah. People well, in the maybe south, not Cincinnati, but. <gasps> oh yikes Ooh, Ooh, hot take Anthony. oh shit Ooh, Anthony, Ken gonna spicy. he's gonna fight you, you gonna get me? um but anyway yeah go watch that trailer there's janelle monae is in it leslie Dude. odom jr from Dude. um hamilton is in it that trailer mm-hmm. amazing and cynthia or Ar- 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 what's her last name I, she's I amazing no she's amazing she won a tony for doing the color purple on broadway oh right we're right she oh, is yes. so good um Brits Ooh. coming in, stealing our jobs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many British actors coming These in and playing. Fucking immigrants. Because, like, David Oyelowo played Martin Luther King Jr., <laughs> And he's British too. I got all um, the side eye for all these immigrants coming, coming in, in here, stealing, stealing our jobs. jobs. I really don't feel that way. It I'm looks like kidding, she's going to do an amazing job. Yeah, but, um, no, I'm all for it. More looks, British people, please that looks come here. So good. And then <laughs> and we scared the shit out of ourselves watching the It trailers. <laughs> Ooh, I can't. I so good. They look yeah. woof. Uh, so good. Woof. So down. Woof. Woof. Ready for it part two? Yeah, I'm ready for Harriet. I am. I am stoked. Me I too. literally can't wait. I'll tell you what. I am ready to go see the fucking new uh, 
movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you've been waiting for that for a while, Dude, and it's I think it's out now, right? I'm or ready. this weekend. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's this weekend, it's right? Mm-hmm. Stoked. Well, yeah, if you got something that you think we should watch, if you got more Fuck, Mary Kill suggestions, if you just want to reach out, if you want to yell at me because the episode is just the clip and not the full episode, please go please to... Please do it directly <laughs> at... Um, no, no. <laughs> no. Go to com. It's our one-stop shop of a website, and it's fantastic. You can connect to our Facebook group, get on Patreon. You can do all the damn things. We really, really, really love interacting with you guys so and if you get a minute or two go and rate and review us on apple podcasts it really helps us out and we love you guys so much we'll see you next time cheers Cheers.